This is a sticker making machine that looks like a dishwasher. We're going to be looking at two really cute Japanese craft kits that make you do some unique crafts. As you saw, the first one is a dishwasher looking holographic sticker maker coming in at around $30. And the second set is called Puni Gel. Now I think in Japan, Puni Gel is basically the equivalent of resin, but it's not toxic, so anyone can use it without too much worry. And we should be able to make some really adorable charms. Just look at these cute little dinosaurs and kitty cats. And yes, these are characters from Sumiku Gurashi. Sumiku Gurashi are really popular characters in Japan, and they're as well known as Hello Kitty locally over there. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these two would you be most excited to try? Is it the weird holographic sticker maker or the super cute gel type charms? Since both of these craft kits are about $30 each, it'll be interesting to see which one gives us the most value for what we're doing. Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notification over there, which will turn you into a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. What is this I'm waving? Nothing. Nothing for you to worry about. No. No. And if you do like more reviews, definitely check out my other Japanese craft kit videos, which I will link a few down below, because I like to know whether something is good or if it goes in the trash to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. And the first one I'd like us to start with is the sticker making machine because apparently it's supposed to dissolve in cold water. Listen, I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself. So let's take a look at what this is supposed to promise. And we're gonna take out our trusty Google Translate over here. And it says here, you can make transparent stickers with magic paper that melts in ice. And I don't know how accurate it is because here it looks like paper, here it looks like ice water, and then here it still looks like paper. So I'm not sure if the background was white and then it's turning transparent. Not quite sure, we're gonna find that out together. And it looks like this is the machine where the water is going to dissolve the paper and we can turn this little knob over here to wash it, I guess. And then after washing it, we can hang it to dry. <laughs> it has its own little hangers, that's cute. And apparently these are going to be the instructions of how we're going to put this together, but let's not check it out just yet. Let's first see. I'm looking for my knife. How did I lose my knife? It was literally in my hand like two seconds ago. Literally, it was literally in my hands. Let's see what we get inside. we get inside we get the laundry machine dishwasher looking thing voila and there seems to be more things in here oh my goodness what is that all right let's get this contraption out of the way why is this so tricky is it because I have tape in almost in front of my head this is the tape isn't it hang on how do I remove this tape there you go I got this. I am committed. I am committed. <laughs> X marks the spot. Okay, so we're gonna figure out how to use this because clearly, wow, look at that spin. This is really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna put this back like I saw. Cute. Maybe I should take this off. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Don't yell at me, I'm just a person. I we get holographic paper sheets over here. I don't know how many are here yet. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a dosh garn darn minute. It looks like we have a variety of them. Let's hang on. Let's look at this because these these are holographic different kinds of prints. Okay, let's see. Let's take a closer look. So here we have the classic holographic. So far so good. What is that one? This is kind of like lined. Yeah, lined holographic. Okay, here we have kind of shape type holographic. Interesting, I did not expect this. I genuinely did not expect this. Now we have heart, that's cute. Heart and flowers type of holographic. That is absolutely adorable. Kind of trippy too. Look at that, look at the hearts changing shapes. That is pretty neat. And then what do we have here? Oh my goodness, we have star holographics. Super cute. I genuinely did not expect 
different shape of holographic stickers. Okay, so these are going to be the different fronts that we're going to get. And then we have, I think it says 25 different sheets of tiny paper. So I'm going to take a guess and say that this is where we're going to actually be drawing our stickers. We're also getting a sheet of stickers. So if you don't want to draw, I'm going to guess that you can also just pluck some stickers out. And these are plain stickers, so you can probably use them to make holographic versions of them, which is kind of cute. And this is what they look like. Unless this is decoration for the machine. <gasps> Hang on. Okay, some of these are actually decoration for the machine itself, which, I mean, we gotta decorate it. And I think the rest are just basically to make your own sticker version holographic of them. We have some gems in purple and blue. I don't know what these are for just yet, but we'll figure it out. We have tiny hangers. My goodness, they even swivel. Look at that. Japan thinks of everything. These are absolutely adorable. Look at them. And then we have a tool to actually smooth out the top part of the sticker that's going to become holographic. An extra piece of the machine that I think goes here. I think so. Yeah, there you go. And now we can put our tiny hangers. Oh my goodness. There. There's our tiny hangers. Oh my goodness. Why are you adorable? Oh my goodness. Cute. I really wish they gave us more than two hangers because it only means that we can make two stickers at a time. And of course, as Japan always does, usually, is we get a fully illustrated color guide. So this is the tracing guide. And here is how to use guide and it is fully in color, which I really truly appreciate. One of the things I noticed that this kit is not giving us though for $30 is a few coloring pencils. So you have to have your own. I would have loved to see some of the most basic colors for the characters, but that was not included. Luckily I have my own. Now, according to the instructions, this is actually pretty simple to use, but first let's decorate. Oops. And if this ain't looking spiffy spaffy and absolutely adorable, I don't know what is. It actually does look super cute now that we have the stickers on. And I brought my colored pencils and I have to say the smell of colored pencils just brings me to a happy place. Ah, yes. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Now, the first thing we need to do is take our magic paper. Now, this is actually pretty sealed, which is interesting because the paper itself is supposed to be easy enough to actually trace with. So let's take one out. Special paper you. Looks very normal. I guess it's sealed because it is water soluble. So that'll be interesting to see. And let's take a simple character to make. Let's go with this cute little penguin thing. I'm not gonna start using names. I don't wanna be like, well, actually, did you know that these characters have names and their names are so and so and such and such? I'm not here to flex on you. Despite the fact that I don't know the names, I could easily pretend I know the names with the magic of editing. And one of the other cute things that I found in this kit is that the instructions on the inside, as you, I briefly kind of showed you, they do give you illustrations of the characters that you can trace from. Everything from the solo main characters, all the way to tiny illustrations that you can add as decorations on the side. And they even have tiny decorations like stars, musical notes, clovers, paws, kind of cute. We even have like garland style over here. So yeah, you can definitely start decorating however, 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 However way you feel like. I don't know why I couldn't say this word very easily. However way you want. But we're gonna go simple with this little penguin dude. All right, let's see how well this paper is actually going to be transparent. It's actually not bad at all. Here, let me give you a better view. This is what it looks like. And there really isn't anything magical about what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of taking my colored pencils and they really do say do not use anything else other than colored pencils. So I'm kind of curious if it's because they don't want anything to melt in the water or kind of contaminate other things. But I think wooden colored pencils are definitely safe. And here it is all done. The washi tape was definitely very helpful. At some point I couldn't see too much just because of the camera angle. But here's my derpy little character. I think it's pretty cute. It does make it really unique. So I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. Okay. And now we can go ahead and select the type of holographic we want. And I think for the first one, I want to go with the harsh type shapes. 
I don't know why I like these. And let's just check the size of the paper. So we're definitely going to get a lot more sticker than here. Okay, and we're gonna remove one of the corners like so. Like a saw. Like a saw. There, no. There you go. Voila. And now we're gonna place it on top. Now this is a little bit challenging because like I said, we have more sticker than paper, but they don't give us much leeway to work with this. I am a little scared here. Is this the right way? How did they do it? They said to put it straight on top. Okay, it looks like we have to put the sticker on top. Listen, I know my coloring is not perfect and that is on purpose. Okay, we're gonna do this. Like a so, and put it right on top. Oh gosh, that is so wonky. Oh no, that's okay. It's okay. They said we have to cut around it anyways. It's okay. <laughs> now we're going to take our tool and make sure that it's nicely stuck on there. Voila, very, very nice. Oh, what's this? What happened? Uh oh. Okay, well, there's a piece that came out and I don't know why. <laughs> Oops. Now the instructions say if I want to cut it, I can go ahead and do that now, or I can put the whole piece as is now. Google Translate, I need you. <laughs> so it does say to cut it out after step one, despite the fact that it's not supposed to be step one because on the paper it says step four. I don't know why they changed step one to step four. And they want us to leave a little margin. So I'm gonna leave a pretty big margin because you know, I don't want to mess this up. I don't want y'all in the comments to be like, Jake, you're doing it wrong. I know, I'm just experimenting here. <laughs> Got me some slack. All right, we're gonna cut all the way around. We're gonna get a pretty big margin, voila. That's a pretty generous margin. Look at the holographic on this. Now this is supposed to go transparent. I don't know how it's going to go transparent without losing the color, so this is going to be very interesting. It, what, excuse me? <laughs> what? Why is it calling me stupid? Listen, there are times where I do, where I, I, I do act, I do be, I am a little on the dumb side. <laughs> but did the Google Translate really need to say that? I don't even think that's what it says because it says it twice. I'm pretty sure like phonetically it does sound like stupid, but it says it here and here. So if anyone knows what this means, let me know in the comments. I don't, I don't think it means dumb though. And now for the part we're all waiting for. However, what I learned is that the water's not supposed to be ice. It's just supposed to be cold water. And we're going to open this contraption here. How do we open this? There we go. Place our sticker, close it up. Okay, is that it? Okay. And let me get some water in here. All right, so our water is in. And now we're going to go ahead and put our little, oh gosh, little, little character inside. Look at it. Okay, let's, let's zoom you in way more. And now we're supposed to turn this little dial, oh my goodness, for 30 seconds. Hey Siri, put a timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting now. All right, here we go. 30 seconds passed. I don't know if it worked, but the only way to find out is to pull this out. My good, I think, I think it did work. What? No. Okay, hang on, let's bring it closer. Yeah, oh, what? The one, it actually worked. It actually worked. Let's, let's get you out. Can I get you out? Here it is. And it actually did become transparent. Now, I don't know if it's actually going to be a sticker because everything is wet. This is pretty fuzzy, but they do want us to hang it. So we're gonna go ahead and see how to hang this because I have no clue. How's this work? getting it. I don't understand how to do this. A few minutes later. All right, so I checked the Google Translate and the reason why I can't get it in the hanger, because if we zoom in here, we're actually supposed to stick it onto the hanger. There's no actual clasp or clip, but since I cut it to a bit of a die cut type shape, I'm just going to go ahead and put it face down, so sticky side up on the original paper that we had the holographic onto. And I'm just gonna put it aside and let it dry. And since I didn't wanna just make one sticker, I really wanted to use the heart holographic. I went ahead, did another illustration, and then did the exact same process, which is pretty fun. I mean, the water kind of really just dissolves the paper right in front of your eyes. And we're gonna set that aside and let it dry and see how long it takes before we actually get a sticker and if it actually is sticky after drying. By the way, I know I didn't do anything with these ones, but these are basically just sticker 
gems. So you can remove the little adhesive in the back here and just stick it on your illustration. That's basically it. And you put it in the machine thing and it becomes a transparent sticker. Really nothing special about this one. A little longer than a few minutes later. So here we are six hours later. They did warp, which I am not surprised because they were basically involved in water. Now the question is, is the backing still sticky? And you can see here that it is definitely dry. My worry, yeah. You know what? We should have left more of the outer edge for the tape because it is definitely not sticky enough. Yeah, let's get it on a piece of paper here. It does look really adorable, but the thing is it's not sticky enough. So my recommendation is to keep the entire sheet. Do not cut around it because they do mention that if you cut too close, it's not gonna be sticky. And here we have the, ooh, hang on. This one's a little bit more sticky. Here's this one. Look at that. It's sticky, but again, if there's not enough surface, it's not going to stick. So keep it square, 100%. Is it cute? Yes. So I'm gonna say this one, worth your cash. Next we have Puni Gel. We've played around with Puni Gel before, but it was a while ago and it was a different version of this. This is actually pretty new to me, but it, cause it looks like we can actually make some kind of clasp and even cute little charms with, I guess, a gel on the inside. And this is yet again, another Sumiku Gurashi special edition. I don't know what to expect from this other than the fact that they look adorable and I'm pretty excited because the first kit was absolutely fun to play with. And I feel like I could do so many more, especially we can do 25 stickers. So the playability on that is pretty big. So let's see if this one offers the same thing. And you can see on the side of the box, it says shake the gel and then make the charms. I mean, it just kind of skips a thousand steps right there. <laughs> It's like those illustrations that shows you how to make or draw a character and they're like, step one, make a circle. Step two, here's the finished product. Dash gun darn nabe, what happened in between? But the box itself, look at this right here. These characters look super cute and they make them look really sparkly. So I'm wondering if it's very glittery or very holographic, but it is pretty cute to have these charms that you can put on your bag, your backpack, or wherever you like to put those charms. But in order to know, let's see what we get inside. By the way, I forgot to mention that this kit is made by none other than Sega. Yes, the company that gave us the Sega Genesis and such characters as Sonic the Hedgehog. Not to mention they have some of the biggest pachinko slots in Japan, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> What we get inside a mold but it's transparent so we're going to bring in my trusty felt and bring y'all closer and here you can see we get the different characters from sumiku grashi including some paws obviously the main characters the dinosaur the duck etc the penguin duck am i really showing off if i don't know the i don't know the characters I don't know, but they're cute though. And then some random different shapes over here. And this really is a gateway to resin because you don't have to worry about the toxicity level. Next, we get four packs of the Puni gel and they actually come with glitter in this one. So you can see here we get gold and a kind of dusty red, two sets of glitter, one in star and hearts. This really reminds me when I first started playing around with resin. I even have old school videos of how to use resin and how to make cute resin charms. So it does bring back a lot of memories. We also have some clay fruit pieces, some actual findings of chains and beads and other things that you can use in order to attach for your piece. And here we have a bunch of decals, including tiny bits of the character. Oh my goodness, why is this adorable? We have the little fried shrimp with the sauce. Look at them in the cauldron. Why is this adorable? Oh my goodness. So we have all these tiny little cutouts. We even have cutouts of stickers for the character faces. Actually, these are not stickers. These are just decals of their faces that we can put in, which we will. And then we have tweezers in order, I'm guessing. In order to pick up things and put them so you don't get messy with your hands, if that's the case. Now I did say Japan usually adds colored instruction guides, but this is not colored. The whole sheet itself is blue, but on the inside, it's all just blue. <laughs> But instructions are pretty straightforward. So in order to turn these into charms, we have to, oh, hang on, this is, this is not working. Hang on, there we go. We have tiny little holes that we can use over here. In order for us to put the clasps inside, we have to plug it up with these little silicon tools over here. All right, we have these out 
and we're gonna stuff it into the dino. Now, I don't know how many pieces of puni gel we'll make, so I'm gonna prep a few just in case. We're gonna make the heart, like so. So I decided we're going to do three of them, basically the heart, dino, and the little bird character. And we're also going to test making one of these charms. So it's pretty thin, so I don't think it's going to take too much of the puni gel. So we're going to need to cut out a few of these absolutely adorable decals. Well, they're not decals, they're just plastic sheets. My only worry is the actual glitter because if there's too much glitter, it's just going to cover the illustration. So let's see how that works. So I'm gonna cut out the dino face and the little bird character and huzzah. So here they are cut out. This is not the best work I've done ever, but it is a pretty thick material. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I also cut out two decals for this one here. I kind of wanted to make it a food themed. So I put a little bit of a milk and then the tempura over here. So now we need to push the glitter side down to the clear side. And I think I want to go with blue. So we should see a little bit of a crack or something that's going to mix both. So you see there's a limit right here. Let's push it. There you go. So it made it all the way across. Push, 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 push. And now we need to mix this for at least, they said, 50 seconds. And if it's not mixed well, it's just not going to harden. So we'll, we'll be back in this timing. It turns out I was wrong. It's not 50 seconds. It's 50 times back and forth. So it doesn't look like we get that much gel in here. It is pretty sparkly. If we get a little closer, you could see the glitter mixed in pretty well. I was a little worried it would just get chunky, but we may not be able to do two characters. We might actually be able to do one character. So we'll see. And I definitely want to do the dino character. And we know that the face needs to be here. Now I doubt it's going to stay. So we're gonna put the puni gel first and then the face, which is going to make it very glittery. I'm a little worried about that if it's actually gonna show. All right, so we cut this edge here and we go squeeze. I'm really curious. Oh my goodness, look at it come down. This really is like resin. They don't give us any tools, unfortunately. So we're gonna put this and let it spread a little bit. This is really pretty though. Really, really pretty. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> Stop it, stop it. They really don't give us any tools, which is quite annoying actually for 30 bucks. I mean, just put in a toothpick. Fine, I'll use my own. Right, so we have air pockets here. I'm gonna try and get that puni gel like so. Is it me or is it already hardening? That's way too fast, way too fast. I am stressing. Don't do this to me. Puni gel, don't you dare. All right, let's put some more because we need to get that dino tail right here and the little spikies. Voila, we need to get the feet. I don't think they give us enough puni gel. Okay, let's get all the edges. I think I got everything, voila. And now we need to get the face in there. Oh gosh, oh boy, oh boy, oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh boy. We're just gonna push that in and hope and really hope that this is in the right place. We're just, we're just hoping here. We're just, we're playing on hope. <laughs> And just for fun, I'm gonna throw in some cute little fruits, maybe some heart glitters. Let's push these in there and here and put some of those little heart glitters like so. Now we don't need the heart glitter to go all the way down, but we could push a few of them in and see what happens. Nothing towards the face though. Keep them towards the bottom. Oh boy, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh boy. This is reminding me of like thick resin. All right, I think this is pretty good. We're gonna let it settle. And I don't think we have enough puni gel to make another big one. So I'm gonna move this aside and we're going to bring this in and I'm gonna squeeze what I have in here. This is really setting too quick. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm gonna use that toothpick. Again, they're not giving us any tools to work with, so I'm just gonna work my way with my own. This is actually pretty fun. Despite the fact that I'm kind of rushing, this is okay for someone who's a beginner, but it just makes me realize that I do miss working with resin and making charms. I just don't like the smell of it. But for a beginner, this is absolutely wonderful. So we could put our little sticker, well, decal over here. Don't want it to get covered though. I'm just gonna get the edges mixed in. Next piece here. That's cute. And you know what, just for fun, let's add a strawberry. <laughs> Cause we're going three dimensional, baby. 
So after making the two pieces that I initially wanted to make, which is one main one and one embellishment, I had just enough of the first packet of Puni Gel to make a heart one, and I added a few of the glitter, and I added some character decals, and I also made the cup and added some heart glitters in there. I really treated this like a resin craft, so I'm really curious how well this is going to come out, especially the faces. And now it says we need to wait 24 hours, so clock the next day. Here we are 24 hours later. I'm really curious how easily this is going to come out. Let's first start by taking a look at this one. And it has definitely hardened. It has a bit of a gummy-ish texture to it. And we can still see the cut outline of the plastic, which is kind of meh. Resin definitely covers that part. But I mean, if you're going to use this as non-toxic gateway to resin, I think this is great so far. But the biggest challenge is going to see how well this here comes out. Oh my goodness. How does... Okay, let's just get the edge. It's actually coming out way quicker and easier than I thought. Look at that. My goodness. Okay, let's move you. Let's move you. Oh no, let's not move you. <laughs> okay, we need a background. Oh my goodness. Let's take this pin out. Also very easy. And the face did stay in place. My goodness, this is kind of hard to see. How about this? Still kind of hard to see. What if we bring our stickers back? <laughs> Still kind of hard to see. Oh my goodness. But you could see the little charms and everything stayed on the inside. You can definitely take a pair of scissors and cut around it. Let's put a keychain in the back here. But everything stayed. One of the things I wish we could do is have added a white background. That could have made it easier, maybe. I mean, here it is on my desk. Not sure if it made it easier, but you can see it much closer. It is really, really cute. Let's pull out this little heart. Oh my goodness. This is actually really fun to play with. And again, we made a tiny heart that can be with the keychain, and it just looks absolutely adorable. It really does remind me of resin. The only thing missing is a background color to solidify it and make it way more visible, but it is cute. It just needs a solid color in the background, and I'm pretty sure you can use paint or puffy paint or something else to make it harder in the background. All right, so we have the chain here. How easy is it to get you through? That is exactly the size, my goodness. My goodness, all the way through. Oh my God, you're adorable. And we'll get it through this little heart charm. My goodness. And now you can put this on your bag or your backpack. Oh my God, <laughs> it's just so gummy. Look at it, it's so cute and gummy. I love this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is definitely worth your cash. And so here are the projects from the two craft kits. Let me know in the comment section below, which one do you think is the most worth it? If you want to watch more interesting craft kits like the Kuru Maru, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch something a little different, like reviews of household items, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you greens in the next video. This weird washing machine, washing machine, what? <laughs> washing. Washing machine, washing machine. This is a sticker maker that looks like a washing machine. <laughs>